Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So Black Mirror is one of my favorite series, especially when it comes to sci-fi. And I was absolutely surprised when I saw a trailer for Black Mirror Bandersnatch. And what was more surprising is it was actually a movie and not a series. And secondly, it is an interactive film. And so I'm going to get into that a little bit further. And so the whole premise behind this is it's set in 1984. Uh, with this really young kid, whiz kid programmer, his name is Stefan, and basically he creates this game called Banner Snatch, which is based upon a book written by this guy who actually went crazy and actually murdered his wife. And the term Banner Snatch, if I remember correctly, is actually taken from the Lewis Carroll novel back in the 1800s. And so it's basically some kind of creature. But uh, bottom line, that's kind of like the premise. And so he develops this game he's picked up by this video game company to create this game based upon this book banner snatch and in the process he kind of goes crazy and this is where the interactive elements comes in so if you're not familiar with what i mean by interactive element there's certain parts in the movie throughout where it asks you to make a decision with your remote and or your controller through netflix and by doing that it kind of changes up the movie or may, maybe changes up the ending of the movie. And this is something that has been tried many times before in many different outlets. From DVDs to CDs, especially with full motion videos and video games. That's really where I could think of the most. And even way before that in Laserdisc games with Dragon Slayer in the 1980s. And obviously on the internet, we have so many places where we could choose and make decisions. And so it's basically an interactive video game movie that they were trying to do here. And uh, by implementing that in the movie, it was really novel at first because whenever you are watching this movie, you get into Stefan's world, things are interesting because you kind of feel like you're in the movie, you know, and as he's going through his day, like there's certain parts of it where it allows you to choose which music to listen to and then the cut to a different scene of the film where now you are listening to the music that you chose or maybe when he's in a record store, whatever record you choose, that's what he takes home. And then later on, the decisions you make with the work that you do. You know, there's like so many parts in the movie that's like that. But overall, it's very simple because at some point, it's going to ask you to choose the right way to do it. And then you do get multiple endings. And that's kind of where it actually threw me off or basically made the enjoyment of the movie less. Because after it got over the initial you know, point of the movie, and that was very interesting, but like by midway... I was just kind of like wanting to see the, just the movie. I didn't care about the interactive elements. And as a matter of fact, a lot of that just really slowed down the movie and it affected my enjoyment. Because instead of being in the movie, I want to know the story, I want to know the characters, I'm more thinking like, oh man, I got to stop and make a decision. And then I'm also thinking like, what happens if I chose that decision? And then later on in the movie, I just didn't care. And unfortunately, by the end of the movie, the characters themselves don't care. It kind of goes crazy. There's even a wild, crazy uh, scene where there's a lot of action that you didn't expect, you know. And then the other characters, there's another wizard of a game programmer. There's also references to other Black Mirror series. So there's a lot of things in there that are cool, uh, but it never quite comes together. And just when you think that you're getting something really amazing, uh, alternate realities, uh, time travel, all this other stuff that it kind of alludes to, you know, the looking glass, uh, which is where the Lewis Carroll reference come from, it's never really done completely. And you're kind of left at the end like, wow, I, I, I'm not sure what I watch or what I was supposed to watch. And that's kind of like the feeling that I got out of it. And I really feel if this movie were to be done without the whole interactive element and just focus on the story and characters, I think it could have been a lot better. And so those are my thoughts on Black Mirror Banner Snatch. It is a different experience, although it's not really something that enhances the whole movie. I really wish it was more about just sticking to the movie. But maybe later on, as they do get better with this interactive technology and, you know, actually focus on the story and then enhancing it with these interactive elements, then maybe we'll have a much better Black Mirror series later on uh, instead of using this as a gimmick. So those are my thoughts. If you had any thoughts on Banner Snatch, whether you've seen it or maybe your own ideas on these interactive type entertainment, then leave that in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, share, like, and subscribe. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, 
audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.